What's one thing your mom doesn't know about you? My handwriting was so bad when I was in middle school that she would help me write it. She saw me struggling, so I practiced writing her name near her, so she would sign her signature on a piece of paper and I traced it on a detention slip lol. Fun fact, forging new parents signature on any academic documents is illegal and there is a law for that. But taking pictures of the airfield tower at night is also illegal and no one enforces that. So oh well. My parents would be annoyed with all the syllabi and permission slips they had to sign for me and my sisters. So they encouraged us to forge it for them. I farted at her, and my dad's vow renewal. It was one of those farts where the entire room took notice and started gagging. Someone else got blamed for it, and I never corrected anyone, and admitted that it was actually me. Maybe you accurately timed it, multiplying its strength. Nice try mom. I'll never tell you my secret. She must working for the FBI. I tell ya. I'm bisexual. At least I don't think she knows. I was convinced my mom thought I was straight. I even fake dated a guy to drive the point home. Apparently she's known the whole time and that's part of the reason she had us move to Vermont. I guess I was really obvious or something. That fact that you fake dated a guy and she still saw through it is incredible. I don't really tell my therapist about all the abusive things she does. I just say I do, so she'll stop doing them, because she feels embarrassed other people know what she does in the home. Ups, you should actually tell your therapist. Fear there to help you. Plot twist. His mom is his therapist. Funny. She may suspect, but doesn't know him a casual drinker. Before that she didn't know it quit the church but found out. BTW. My mother is 90. A WW hug for lots. My grandpa and grandma raised me, and I lost them both at 91. Miss them every day. Yes. A little harder to do in covered environment. She actually isn't much of a hugger, but we talk often. That I nearly lost my job in March, but covered actually spun me into keeping my job and the benefit of working from home indefinitely. That I had my heart broken once again. That I feel very lonely. That my depression was the worst it has ever been in July, and that I have finally found a medication that is helping. That there is a Marilyn Manson song, now that my dad and I both are convinced that even she would like. That I miss her more than I ever thought possible. That I'm sorry for being upset with her last year on November 20th and I've been having nightmares for weeks now where she hates me so much she won't even speak to me. Saturday will make it a full year since I lost my mom and my best friend in this entire world. There are so many things I want to share with her and so many things I want her advice on. My mom knew everything about me up until a year ago. I missed my grandmother's funeral because I was locked up facing 10 years for armed robbery. How dysfunctional I am. I know I need to do something tell myself to do it screaming in my head, but I keep playing on my phone while things pile up. Therapist is helping me through it. That and how much blame I put on my stepdad for a lot of shut, but therapist is helping with that too. ADHD really sucks. Hope your therapist helps you figure out a solution. That I got fired from a job after they discovered I was stealing snacks. Gas station. It was dumb. But it racked up about $350 worth of unpaid food over the course of 2 months. The fact that my boss decided not to press charges and to give me a second chance was a life lesson and I never, ever did that again. However, I don't ever want my mom or dad to find out. A second chance is all it can take sometimes to change a person entirely. That I bang her best friend when I go and help move furniture. Stas's mom has got it going on. What I'm to my mom is a personality tailored to her needs. What I'm actually is a polar opposite of that person. So I'd say she doesn't know anything. I try to maintain the same thing, but sometimes I, I can't help me coming out of the box. I hate my life. Happens to me too. And it blasts out pretty violently. But I also do know that it is a vicious cycle. So I better tuck my tail and sit tight for however long I'm going to live with her. That a dude was jerking it outside my apartment window in the middle of a January night. I called the cops and testified in court that the dude in front of me was, indeed, the chili dog wanker. Apparently he had a history of this. My mom doesn't know that I'm bisexual and I have known for 8 years. 
I've never felt comfortable coming out to anyone in my family due to being raised super conservative Christian. I've only told 5 people. It sucks not being able to talk to her about this, especially since I tell her everything. She's my best friend. That I've tried cocaine. My mom caught me doing coke and in a semi asleep daze told me that better not be meth and went back to bed. What a chad move. My parents do not know that I was raped when I left home at the age of 16. They also don't know that I had a child as a result. I told my mom the reasons why I left home and I will not go in much detail I was abused from a very young age. C did not believe me as she had the person stay with her after I told her. So I told her nothing else my parents have not seen my children. I see them in the street and they just walk past like I'm a stranger. Now I'm a grandmother from my firstborn W Howlett I have just mentioned at the top and I love being a nan. I phone my daughter every day and see how she is and how my grandson is and see them as often as I can. Can. I could write more but I will not bore you with my life. I've. Not boring. I'm happy you have loving family now. Apparently. A lot of stuff. First. She doesn't believe I like girls. Second. Knowing me, I'll stay where I'm at my job. False. I have plans. I'm not dumb. Third. She doesn't really trust me with my friends for some reason and I think it had something to do with how I used to be clingy to my friends. Lastly. She's surprised when I handle a social interaction without being cringe. I've grown. I'm not a child. I'm at heart. But I know how to handle real world. I'm not like my father either. He stayed where he was at his job because he was comfortable. I'm pushing to get higher at my job. I have plans. If this plan doesn't work, I'm actively working on becoming better. If I was comfortable in my position, I wouldn't try so hard. Exclamation mark. Sorry for the rant. But I guess I have pent up emotions about this and I have to talk it out. Thank you for reading. Almost nothing really. She has her own idea of W Howlett I am that cannot be penetrated by reality. When we talk she never asks me anything about my life or interior. SDS. It is what it is. It's no changing her now. Now. That I have a motorcycle. She told me that she would cry if I got one. Within a year of moving out of the house I've gotten to bikes. Hope she never finds out. Whenever I was mad at her as a child. I would dip her toothbrush into the toilet. That the only reason I like going to church is because I have a crush on a guy W Harlot goes th. Yeah. She thinks I love going there to make friends and to be with God. God. In reality I just find it really boring. I. I'm just gonna say as a Christian guy. It's not worth going then. If for whatever reason he finally notices you. When he finds out you're not a real Christian it will most likely be a deal breaker. Move on kid. Try Tinder or something. My mom doesn't know that the trip I took to San Diego wasn't with my friend and her family. I met a couple online and spent the weekend with them. I drove one. Five hours to LA to meet the guy. Then we took an Uber to the bus station that was 20 minutes away. We took a bus all the way up to Oakland where his GF picked us up. Weekend was decent I guess. He cheated in the past. They were so not ready to add another person. Then at the last minute, he decided he wanted to stay longer. So I got on the 8 hour bus ride home by myself. Didn't get back to LA until 1am. Then had to call an Uber and waited 20 minutes. Was dropped off at his house to get my car. Only to speed home. To make it home by 2.15am. So I could sleep for a few hours before going to work at 6am. Didn't sleep cause my mom was upset that I got home so late. 2 tenths. Would not recommend. That I'm trans. She would take learning this fact very badly. Hey I'm not your mom. But I accept you. You deserve love and acceptance and I hope you find supportive people that help along the way. There's way more than just one thing. I was raised by my grandparents. My mum never really got me. I'm not sure if she could tell you any of my hobbies or interests or any of the names of my friends. I'm sure my grandma feeds her a lot of info about me and my family. But I deleted my grandma off mine and my husband's FB and my grandma won't talk to me. 
so she doesn't know anything about me at all since about September. In 2009 my mom told me not to talk to her ever again, and I about haven't. We had a very awkward telephone conversation about a year ago, and she hasn't tried to talk to me since. Whatever. I've got my own family. I'm going to go hug my kids, and tell them I love them. It's fine. That I swallowed an entire magnet, when I was 8 years old. That I haven't returned home in a year, because she caused me to be overstressed, and anxious and ended with self entitlement, by thinking I was gonna give her my truck I planned to buy. I sneak out of my apartment on the third Monday of every month at exactly 1.15 in the morning, and I bike 2 miles to my girlfriend's house. We cuddle in her bed and once she's asleep, usually around 3.30, I'll wait a couple hours, just to make sure I don't wake her up and very carefully, sneak out through her window, and go back home. If my mom knew about this, I would likely get grounded for a year. Since I started a relationship with a woman my mother doesn't get along with, I think my mom doesn't actually know how much I love her, or value her in my life. It's making me really sad, because I can tell she's upset, and thinks I don't care, but she doesn't seem to believe me when I tell her how I feel. Please click subscribe if you enjoyed this video.